My name is Otto Lee, and my Chinese name is actually Li Zhou Xiao. My family escaped from communism, immigrated to, from Hong Kong, but I'm absolutely not an alien or any foreigner, and I'm certainly not a virus. And I tell people, please don't judge me by staring at me and think that you know me. I'm a Chinese American, and patriotism runs very deep in my family. Like my grandfather, we both served decades in the United States Navy. My grandfather served in World War II while I served boots on the ground in Baghdad, Iraq. For almost getting bombed a few too many times, I was awarded a Bronze Star, and I'm now a retired U.S. Navy commander. I've also served in Sunnyvale as mayor and council member, and I'm honored to serve as the first Chinese American supervisor for Santa Clara County. I'm blessed with my family upbringing to speak three Chinese dialects in addition to Spanish I learned in high school. I saw this introduction to show that you really can't judge someone by simply looking at their skin color. It is lazy and it's just wrong. Discrimination, not liking someone just because of how they look is really nothing new. The United States history of discrimination against Asians well documented. For Asian Americans, the latest is just a chapter in a very old book. As early as 1871, 140 years ago, 19 Chinese migrant workers were massacred in Los Angeles, with 15 of them lynched. No one was jailed. Back in 1882, the U.S. passed the Chinese Exclusion Act to ban all ethnic Chinese from entering the United States, and that lasted until 1943. But then, the year prior, 1942, after Pearl Harbor was attacked the Japanese, by the Japanese Empire, the U.S. government forced over 100,000 Japanese Americans to internment camps, even though no Germans ever were interned. So let's be clear, America had every reason to be angry of the Japanese military government, but it had no right and it's unconstitutional to send Americans of Japanese descent to concentration camps. And you certainly have every right to dislike North Korea dictatorship or the communist Chinese regime, but you certainly have no right to direct those hate to anyone in America that looks Asian. Now, I just want to mention that because of this, what do you call Chinese flu, Wuhan flu, Kung flu, all those really divisive rhetoric that was said by the last president has certainly not helped. Uh, shortly after those speeches, hate crimes have risen against Asian Americans with the stigma of being wrongly associated with the coronavirus. Most of them started with dirty looks or verbal assaults, but the severity and frequency of these attacks have become far more violent and increased dramatically in the last few weeks. We at the county has certainly, like many places, passed unanimously these resolutions to condemn hate crimes against Asian Americans. But the next morning, a Filipino worker was sexually assaulted at the Deerdon Station Tunnel with the man screaming these despicable words like F you Asian and all that stuff. So we clearly see that, you know, passing resolutions is nice, but we need to take a lot of actions. We need actions. And so, what we have also done from the county level is that we have passed another uh, proposal where we're going to have other funding being uh, put in for bystander training uh, and also working closely with our law enforcement and our district attorney, I think uh, our DA, uh, Jeff Rosen, who is here today, uh, to make sure that we take these issues very, very seriously. We have to understand, it is not just Asian Americans being hurt. When hate against one group is really hate against all. And I think I'm so honored to say that the communities of white, African-American, Latinx, Jewish, Muslims has all been standing together with us of so many rallies and marches to denounce these hate crimes. And we need to rise up and speak up, right? Uh, last thing I want to mention is this thing about model minority myth. And it's exactly that, it's just a myth. Being obedient and cry and passively is not something that we need anymore. Asian Americans have certainly now spoken loud and clear that we will not be silenced. And just like the story of that Chinese grandmother in San Francisco that fought back her, her assailant, uh, this is exactly what we need to do. And reminding people that screaming, swearing, spitting, slapping, shoving another person, just because they look Asian, it's not freedom of speech. It's a hate crime, a hate crime against all of us. Therefore, I just want to say, you know, discrimination, bigotry, xenophobia, those are not tolerated except anywhere in Santa Clara County. 
not in California, not in America, and not ever. I just wanted to make sure these messages are loud and clear. And I would say thank you for being here today. Thank you for paying attention to these really important issues because we have a lot of, of work ahead of us. Thank you.